Hello once again, people! So, we have made it to an yen no yet another level in the cycle. This time around, we're checking out Fountain! Um, Fountain is a bit of an interesting level. It was made by Costa Moses, whom you might recognize as being, um, the guy who ripped off both of the earlier levels off the internet. So, who knows? This is probably just a ripoff of something you could download online. Who knows? I sure don't. Let's play and see what exactly it is. Anyway, the description says that you run around in a garden maze until you get into the fountain in the center. Yeah, th this is fun of you. Basically, wander around, get to center, the end. Um, that's, that's a very agreement's term of it, but that's all the description says! <laughs> no idea sometimes why they go with such simplistic, and then other times they get so detailed. But whatever, we'll, we'll load it up. Fountain of Youth it is! Now the question is, uh, did I actually change the name of the level I want to load up. And it was good I caught, caught myself this time. See? I'm learning. I'm learning, people! And now we can load up... Fountain of Youth! There we are! And if you notice, one big thing to talk about here is the fact that matter that we have 103 enemies to kill. Yeah, this level is a lot bigger than most others in the pack. I think it's actually probably the largest level in Dark Hour. Um, by a big amount. <laughs> Look at that. Fountain of Youth. And if you notice, this level is like the exact opposite of what most of Dark Hour is. Suddenly we have something that's extremely bright, like light bright is covering this thing. There's just no darkness at all. It's really weird after seeing everything lit up. Anyway, there's a sky above us, if you could call that a sky. Uh, by this point, we're used to Dark Hour's fake skies. They're really, really terrible looking. But beyond that, this is basically, uh, the Q2. Yeah, this is probably one of the most Q2-ish levels we could talk about. Um, Mainly because of the fact that I met it, that it is pretty much on a horizontal plane, and it reuses this one texture over and over and over through the whole thing. Um, but there's a big difference between this and Q2. Um, Q2, that was basically every level. Here, it's done with the intent to be in a hedge maze. Yes, it's, it's like an outdoor hedge maze. So it makes sense that static lighting, because it's all lit up, because it's outside, and it's a hedge maze, so it all looked the same. So it has more of an excuse than, say, Q2 does. I'm not saying it's the best, but it definitely feels more appropriate than what we saw in Q2. Anyway, let's actually play this thing. I'm just sitting here and, for some reason, the audio's actually skipping. I'm hoping we don't have, like, optimization issues like we did in, um, Office Hell. I see. Um, one thing I should advise against is probably jumping. Uh, actually, jumping doesn't reach the top. Okay, so you can totally jump in here. Never mind. Never mind, people. <laughs> uh, you can tell I'm... Kind of get bubble things. Oh god, there are grunts everywhere. Time to kill him. This is basically a giant maze, so expect me to try and wander around aimlessly, kill everything, and that pretty much is the point of here. If you haven't already figured it out, it's a massive number of grunts. Yeah, there's just grunts everywhere. Get used to seeing grunts. Like, a lot of grunts. And of course,
course, that means lots of pain for me. Ow. Alright, let's do this again. But I forget there's other things in here besides grunts. Well, I know there is, but I specifically talk about, like, spawns. Not sure if there are spawns here. So, I'm going to keep my nail gun just in case it spawns. Best way of and sure my paranoia goes well. Okay, so that's 14 enemies down. Sort of a massive number to deal with. The light says this map is basically just a giant maze. So in some ways it's pretty dull because expect a bunch of these similar looking areas, but you know, what am I trying to say? It makes sense in certain ways, and I do appreciate the sheer magnitude we have to deal with. The fact that matter that there's a lot of enemies we have to kill. Even if it's mostly grunts and a lot of sheer repetition. So, not this guy. Notice this was a total waste of time! Yeah, nothing but two ogres down here. Well, nobody said it was ever going to actually have a point. Yeah, um, definitely, uh, kind of conflicting map because who wants a bunch of similar looking areas and something that brings back a lot of memories of Q2? Um, like I said, I will say this is a lot better than Q2, even if it looks the same, because in Q2, a lot of enemies attack you at the start. This one, it's a lot more you go through and enemies attack you. Much better design that way. Um, the fact that matter that's a lot bigger than Q2. The fact that matter that it makes more sense why it's this way. So there's little details that add up to make it a lot better than what we dealt with in Q2, even if it may look the same. Okie dokie, things are trying to kill me. This is a promising. Would you like hit him? Oh joy. Lots of ogres. Lots of ogres, oh joy. Okay, we better run. One down, back up. Two down. Okay, but I think th there's another ogre somewhere. Oh look, there he is. I found the ogre, people. Amazing, huh? You know what? Let's go the long way around. Oh look, another ogre. Who would guess? Give me that help! Yeah. Light bright everywhere. And well, ogres. I'm almost out of ammo. This could be problematic. Um. Yeah, game. Where or where could I get ammo? Because this ain't good. Like, well, he has ammo on him. He mostly killed me. I might need to switch to the nail gun. Even if I don't. Oh, God. That was close. Okay, we need to kill things with the nail gun. There is weird little lag issues if you haven't noticed, but luckily they don't seem to hinder the map too much. And, uh, at this point I'm just trying to stay alive. Health! Valuable health! I could use that. Give me all these glorious little health packs. And some 
shells. Useful for surviving. Huh. Oh look, more nails. I could use that. And a rocket launcher. Huh. In fact, this is placed with all the huh. guns. Huh. I think we're taking the wrong turn at now, my Kirky. Oops, Daisy. Didn't mean to do that. Oh well. I don't know where I'm going. I just wanna kill the things that are growling in the walls. And I seem to have caused everyone to get angry at me. Where in God's name are they? Uh, I hear them. They're growling at me. They're pretty angry. This is problematic. Because I don't want to learn that enemies running run their way around the map. Anyway, this is the highlight of the map right here. This fountain. Yeah, it pretty much is just a fountain. As you expect it, but it definitely looks pretty nice in comparison to everything else. And, well, it is pretty much the biggest important thing you could do because it's needed to basically get all the guns to kill everything. Now I'm ridiculously overpowered! Hooray! Now if I can figure out where I'm going, this might be good. I'm just kinda lost at the moment. I've been killing things and not, not really knowing where I'm going. Uh, this way. One more grunt down. Only 50 more to go. Oh, gee. Oh, look, a fiend. What a totally pointless fiend that was. Like, really, why is he even down there? That's how it. Ooh. help anyone okay everything's trying to kill me that's down here hmm. I see a second ogre a thunderbolt ammo that could be useful I guess if we find something powerful I'm going to like it hooray both things died Died. At this point, that's really, really care about is just getting through this map alive. Just inching my way along, figure out where in God's name I haven't, haven't been, and well, killing everything. Real paranoid, if you haven't noticed. Okay. Oh All right, for random lag. Bloody splash damage. Let's try this again. As you can see, this is all about endurance and really lasting a while. That works. That somehow works. Not sure where I'm going, but uh, okay. I have a moment of breather, we could actually, you know, get somewhere stable. Oh god, everything's out to kill me. I love how they're stupid enough not to actually, you know, charge towards me. 
me. You know, like a rational monster would. Great for some useless infighting. Shine enemies can actually hit me that far away. Of course they can. Okie dokie. You and me down. See what happens. Is that a reckless maniac that should never be trusted with my own safety? It's this area in between. Ooh, a real shotgun. Double the power, double the fun, double the fun, double the pain. Also, lots of shells. That's pretty useful, actually, right now. Since I'm lacking in shells. Knowing about this a lot sooner probably would have helped me tremendously. get into the fountain area we should be able to be be fine just the fact that matter getting over there it's a bit interesting hmm. where am I no idea let's wander around the game with see and see what happens no kiki two things dead oh god focus. Kill him, buddy! You can do it! Okay, I put myself in the whole situation here. Oh, good! Teleport, no guards. Bloody wall. Well, this is painful. So far, I haven't been having the best of luck. Oh, look, more things to kill. Okay, oh, keep. Goodies, now I actually have shells. That's the first step to success. Second step, not dying. Owie. Okay, at least we got the devil world shotgun that we can control the crowds a bit better. Oh 
god! Emperor Sonoka! Definitely not the best of situations here. Why you Emperor Sonoka? Free help! Free help! Give me some free help. Hmm. Where am I? Where am I going? One guy dead? One guy dead in a mathematical equation called life. Okay, not sure what's going on, but I'm hearing angry guys in the walls. That's never a good sign, I would say. Congo line of death! Alrighty, two dead. Hearing things in the walls, I do not like Sim I am. Where are they? Oh joy, four angry ogres. Just what the world needed. Four angry ogres. Gather as much as I can to try and control my environment. Oh look, what things to try and kill me. Where'd the ogre go? Where did the ogre go? That's never a question I should be asking, people. Um interesting. The ogre seems to have teleported away. You know, that doesn't sound pro pro promising at all. Kill each other, buddy! You can do it. The power of Grayskull and teamwork. We can kill each other in a uh, perfect harmony. Now where did that stupid ogre go? There was no ogre. He exists in the world. Then he disappeared. The uh, not sure where he went, but uh. It's a thing. It's a thing and he's after me. Whoa. Joy to the world. What a splendid world. Okay, one ogre out of the way. A bunch more trying to fight me in this crazy maze called life. Wandering aimlessly, I don't need grenades bouncing at my back. Well, at least that's too close to the victory. Let's go.
go hunting for ogres. Uh, I'm hunting for ogres. Ogre tracks. Uh, oh look, a nail gun. Just what I needed to get a full array of guns. Look at that, every gun in the game now. Now I can be obsessive and murder everything! Random knights? Okay. Oh, God. Stop hurting yourself, please. It's upsetting me. Well, this was a totally pointless area. But, uh, okay. More things dead. I can't complain with things dying. Now where's the ogre? Oh, there's the ogre. Is this the ogre I was hunting for? No idea! But uh, it's a dead ogre. It's a dead ogre, and that's all that matters. It's the fact that Mary's dead. Lots of ogres and lots of things to shoot. Okay, this ain't working out too well for me, but at least we're over 50 enemies. Hey! Oh god! Oh god, random dog! Random dog! Where on earth are they coming from? Were they coming from like another doorway? I can't even tell. As I said before, this area is basically an endurance test. Quite a lot of endurance, lots of survivability in a world filled with a hundred and three enemies. Most of which are bloody hit scan opponents. You know, things that can easily injure you. Oh yeah, I should also mention, there's not much help here, is there? Yeah. Kinda of forgot about that one. But yeah, it's a thing of basically trying to survive in a massive world. A world filled with pain and death and running around on for hell because you can. And what type of terrible person would you be if you didn't run around on for hell? Alright, one ogre on the way, a bunch more trying to hunt me down. Uh, oh god! Ambush the ogres! I hate when the ogres just decide to ambush me like that. Buddy ogres. I can just pop up and say, Hello! How are you? I'm a terrible jerk who loves to explode people like a maniac! Have you not heard of common decency? You know, don't blow up people before they have a chance to say hello. Uh, blow them up after you say hello. Okay, we, things are dead. Definitely lots of pain, but what else is new in the world? Go with it. Kill him, buddy! You can do it! You know what I should do? Super nail gun it up. This isn't going too well for me otherwise. 
around there somewhere. I don't see him. It's like a run. Stay out back! Quick! That's the weird remix version of Batman's song. Okay, things died. They uh, let's get some guns before more things try and hurt me. Like pot shine enemies. Of course, it would be. Okay, so we have every gun in the game. Now we just have to, you know, use them efficiently. That's the hard part. <laughs> Don't think we could do that well, but uh, well, perseverance is key to our survival. Something like that, right? Okay. More things dead. There's enemies that can leap from these two doorways. Um, we've been down there. We've been everywhere that we're around here, right? I believe so. That's the thing I don't know, but I believe so. And believing is key to succeeding somehow, right? Uh, I'll go with that. We'll see where that leads me. Okay, who's trying to kill, kill me? Just hoping to control my environment a little bit more than I did last time. I know they can only leap from two doors, but uh... Last time didn't go too well because I tried one and then the other ones tried to kill me. Speak around the corner. And there we are. Sits the enemy. Sweet. We like it. You like it when since the enemies are dead. Okay. Use this weight with the fiend. Oh, at least that's something. And uh lot less things on the map than there were. Get some more cell ammo so we can and kill things. One grunt down! Bunch more to go. Okay, another grunt out of the way. You can't trick me, buddy. I know your secrets. Ta-da! See? Told you I knew him. And you didn't believe me. See? This is why we can't get along. Because you don't believe anything I say. And then I shoot you in the face and you die. It's a horrible relationship, honestly. Oh, look. Lots of grunts. Where have I seen this before? So, yeah, 
we're somewhere else in the world. No idea where, but uh, more things are dead. That's a start. A lot more things are dead. Now we just start moving. Didn't have really the ability to stop at all. Okay. Double the rocket launchers! Double the fun! Don't know why they give me two, but okay. I'll, I'll use it! I'll kill things with it! They told me it was okay, so I used it. Hooray! I'm getting back a lot of health, finally. Look at that. Finally controlling my, my environment a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> that thing. The thing I'm totally controlling right now. Little eyes. This was brought to you by the letter I and the number B. At least we're killing a lot! 89 oh, 103 We're getting there! Amazingly. Almost there! Now we just have to survive a few more play pose! Without, you know, dying in the meantime. That's the hard part. Not dying! No one ever said it was being easy to not die. Okay, maybe I should pull the super nail gun. Just in case. Don't want it to end in tears and all that. Especially since if there's any spawns, we'll be able to wipe them out. Unguard everything! As you see, everything is now dead! Hooray! Well, that's the level. <laughs> yeah. Well, you want it! Here it is. Fountain. Ain't this brilliant? So, yeah. Um, <laughs> Fountain's an interesting one. It is conflicted in some ways. Um, I do like some of the things versus Q2 for sure. Um, I definitely like the fact that matter that it feels... It, it was kind of an endurance run. It had a lot of enemies. I guess the, one of the biggest problems though level is it's mostly grunts, so... You end up getting kind of bored because everything feels the same. Um, doesn't help when it's all one texture in a giant hedge maze, but doesn't help even more when every enemy is the same. So it was a very monotonous level. <laughs> um, not really helped by the fact of its sheer size, which is a blessing in the fact that it's one of the largest and allows for a lot of action, but at the same time is pretty much the same thing over and over and over and over. Um, it does allow you to explore around and whatnot a lot more than an actual Q2 level would, but on the other hand, it can be easy to miss an enemy here, and that really is kind of the point of the level, I guess, is Wander around their giant pointless maze hunting for enemies because there's no way to exit the level. And finding the fountain's actually pretty easy. You find it pretty quickly. <laughs> um, so that's not really a good goal. Um, so really the only goal to really have here is just wander around and find everything in the map. Which isn't easy. Um... And can be kind of a pain in the butt when you're hunting for the last enemy because you missed one random turn. Um, so definitely not 
the best for having the hunt hunt around the giant freaking map that really doesn't really serve much of a purpose. <laughs> um, the lighting is definitely an issue here. It's full bright. It feels extremely bright. It's the exact opposite of all our problems before. Before, it was always too dark. Um, and while Fulbright makes things better because we don't have to worry about darkness, it feels one-dimensional and feels very dull. It doesn't help with the whole environment as well. If you're going to have a hedge maze, at least have some variety with lighting levels or some difference in the textures or... Elevation differences or so something. As it was, it was very dull. Um, and it's more of a shoot things down type of adventure, which can work, but it definitely isn't the best out there. Um, this, um, in good terms, it's pretty non-linear. Um, you can go all over the place and shoot things. <laughs> As you see, there's plenty of ways all around the place to this place. But, um, it mostly is just one beat note thing. It's pretty dull. <laughs> um, it gets very predictable in what you're doing. Um, once you get to the fountain, you pretty much have the weapon power to kill everything. Um, and it's pretty much just, a uh, Wander around, shoot things, continue on. <laughs> and that is every level in Quake, but it just feels too dull here. Like, it just is boring. <laughs> and yeah, in a way it's good because this level was kind of like a gauntlet. Didn't have much health and thus required a lot of me trying to... Survive with 103 grunts and different enemies like that. But on the other hand, it just felt dull the entire time. It didn't feel that interesting what I was doing. Because the fact of the matter, we all felt the same and blurred together. Um, I mean, of course someone who's recognizing like spatial geometry is going to see it as being like different little areas. But, as a general rule, it's going to be pretty dull. <laughs> um, the highlight's definitely the fountain, which I think the fountain looks pretty decent. Um, I think that would have been good in a better level, but as it stands, the whole hedge maze, it is too one note. And I think that's the big problem at the end of the day. Um, it's made to be a maze, and it su succeeds in being a maze. But I don't like mazes. And this is why I don't like mazes. Because it's the same thing over and over and over. And it's a lot worse in a level like this, because there's no way out of the maze. There's no point to the maze. It's just, wander every corner of the maze. <laughs> it's pretty boring because of that. But I digress. Um, beyond that, it's pretty kill things, all that. It's just not the best level at all. And it's probably one of the most comparable to Q2 because of its monotonous nature, which does not help it at all. Um, especially coming fresh from Q2, this is probably not the the best level to see, it probably will make you not a big fan of this mission after having to deal with 101 levels over there that are like this. Um, so yeah, <laughs> not the best by any means, um, but it's there, it's a thing, and 103 enemies means that will take a bit more time to complete compared to most other levels in Dark Hour. Um, a big problem about Dark Hour is because a lot of its levels are like 20, en a 20 enemies or so, that ends up being very quick. Like, you fly through the level way, way, way too quickly. Why am I stuttering? <laughs> um, but yeah, 
too quickly through the missions, and thus it ends up not feeling good. It ends up being, like, over before you really get into the mission. <laughs> um, and that's kind of a problem with Quake in general, as I said. It's pretty much cookie bites. So, at least with this mission, it takes a few minutes longer to complete. A few minutes to make it actually feel like you're doing something instead of flying through a hundred missions at a time in a few seconds. Um, so at least it will hold you here for a few minutes or so. Um, definitely not the best level to hold you, but at least there's something of length here. Um, <laughs> even if the actual level itself is definitely nothing worthy of really playing. Um, but there's a fountain. Do you like the fountain? It's a pretty fountain. It, it's definitely the best fountain I've seen. <laughs> Only fountain I've seen. But that's beside the point. It's a fountain! Appreciate it! It's art! Fountain! There we are. Anyway, thank you very much all for watching. It's been Venture, and I shall see you all next time.